So mindfulness. What do you mean by mindfulness? Is do it. it. Just- do it. Do it as much as possible. Just do it. Do it as much as you can for the next month, and then think about yeah. whether it's use- worth like useful or not. Yeah. So, so what is mindfulness? Though? Mindfulness is about training your focus and attention, and then letting go of thoughts and being sort of in control of your mind, being able to bring it back to center. Yeah. So, kind of think of it like instead of going to the gym to work out your like pecs, okay. you are mentally training your mind to be able to focus and have emotional stability and regulation and not be distracted and things like that. I think I have kind of an issue with that because I always worry about things. And is yeah, it kind of minutes saying, of mindfulness minimum per day, every single day, nonstop one month at least. So just having more control over what's going on in my head. Yeah. I recommend look at calm, calm either the app see. or the YouTube channel. Yeah. I look think at so. calm it- and just use their guided meditation keep doing that that's going to be a yeah. huge benefit to you I promise guarantee you it's going to yeah. that's going to be life-changing if you so c-a-l-m it. right just calm c-a-l-m okay so um because a lot of the times i kind of use the mindset as i'm like you know i tried my best like, kind of like that. sometimes but i don't know like most of the time at night like if i didn't finish this or didn't finish that I, I know that I tried my best and I used every single minute of the day. And yeah, yeah, okay. I'll have a look at that. Um, no. Notes, we talked about that. Um, and you mentioned about, you know, 60% of energy, 100%, like 20%, and you want to make it like, you want to get it to like maybe 60 and then not, not go to the end, but then have a quick break and then do it like that. Correct. Um, so what's, what's that little curve? I've heard something about like the speed efficiency curve. If you know what I mean, like you, I mean, everyone's just kind of different. Like, like yeah. it's basically, you you can study for two hours, no breaks, really efficient. After that um, break, get back into it again. You're like sixty percent. That's not a study efficiency curve, right? That's kind of like no, you know, that's just, that's about focus, like level of focus that you're able to maintain and level of kind of energy. So at a certain yeah. point in your study, you might feel. I'm starting to lose my edge. I'm, I'm yeah. finding a lot harder to like stay focused and attentive yeah. and be yeah. asking lots of questions yeah. and you're starting to get lazy instantaneously. That's a sign that you need to take a break. So, so just whenever I feel it's not a fixed time. No, 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 no. Yeah. definitely not. A fixed, definitely not. For any, anything you read or see or hear ever about fixed times is not mm. correct. Okay. Uh, no, it's time. If, um, a difference between time management and planning. Planning is more important. Prioritization is more important. Time management is far, far, far I later. Watched, I've got a video watched, about... Yeah, I watched that. That's why you mentioned planning and um, time management. So um, I was a bit confused. So I've got another video coming out about attention management. Have a look okay. at that one. And so um, planning is more priorita- um, prioritization, right? 